Hi guys, excuse my hair. It's early in the morning. I didn't put on my headband wig. I just woke up and I and I made me a smoothie. Um, Pete for the fifty thousandth time because all of this fluid and swelling and everything is starting to drain off of me. Um, and so now that I've gotten my drains taken out. Of course, your body got to find some way for it to leave. <laughs> so that's what's going on. But um, I was coming back to you to give you an update. I told you I would come back and give you guys an update when I, after I got my staples taken out. So yesterday I went, I got my staples taken out. It was not painful. It was like every now and then a little pinch for the ones that, she said we're kind of being a little difficult. It wasn't many, maybe like two, um, two or three. Uh, she did tell me that um, towards the end of where I, it was only about this much on each side that was staple. Um, that was because um, I told you all in previous videos that he went around as far as he could with me laying on the table um, just to make sure he got you know me at a good shape and contoured and got as much skin as he could um so he ended up stapling that part because he couldn't turn me to sew it so they stapled it um so the rest of my incision what is um dissolvable stitches um but the very very back at the um it was staples so anyway when they took the when uh i think her name was danny her name was danny when she took she the same lady actually that took my drains out in woodstock on monday and then i went to marietta on yesterday which was thursday to get my staples taken out and she was taking my staples out as well so i was like hey i know you but anyway when she got towards the bottom she said that it she sees a little separation but she was like it's fine um you know that after i shower dry it let it dry um put some ointment on it and um which is where the neosporin comes in she also gave me some ointment a couple packets um from the doctor but <clears throat> that's the neosporin sporin basically that she said was ointment um I, uh, so she said to put it on the edge where it looks like it's not, um, it's trying to separate a little bit, um, do that and, um, cover it with like a, um, a combine pad, which I purchased those as well. Thanks to all the wonderful YouTubers whose videos I watch to get an idea of what supplies to use. Um, and, uh, put those on the side so that my binder won't rub against it and my clothing won't rub against it and cause it to further, um, open up. And so, um, she did that for me yesterday. Um, it hasn't been any pain, no oozing, anything like that, that I've seen as of yet. I have not gotten up to take my shower for today. So, um, I'm not sure. But as for everything else, the swelling is starting to go down. I wear my binder every day. She did tell me you're going to want to wear your binder as often as possible. And I told her, that's fine. I'm wearing it every day because I feel a little loose when I don't wear it. And she was like, yeah, that's understandable. Um, you, you know, that you would want to wear it for a little added security as you heal. And I was like, yeah, so I wear it every day. Like, I only take it off to shower. And I put it back on when I'm going out, whatever, my binder is on. Um, another thing I did, after I peed for the 50,000th time, <laughs> I've been peeing all night, y'all, I'm so sleepy. Uh, but after I peed for the 50,000th time, I weighed myself. Now, I had weighed myself prior before I got the drains and everything taken out. I was like 190. And then I went to like 189 and I was like, oh God, like I'm um, the same size. He said he took off seven pounds of skin 
and I'm the same size I was before surgery, but then I was like, you, it's, it's the swelling, like no big deal. I know it's the fluid swelling. I got on all this gear, these drains, like everything. And so I weighed myself this morning with the drains taken out, um, with most of the swelling gone down and I was 180.2. And so I was like, okay, th this right here is starting to show that, you know, that's with the skin gone, that's minus the pounds um, of the skin, how much the skin weighed, and then I'm still swollen, which, you know, uh, she said you're going to be swollen for a few months. It takes about six weeks for the sutures to really, like, strengthen and everything um, and all the stitching to strengthen, and so she... Uh, she was like, you know, so I'm I'm at a good pace for just being two weeks out. Um, today is the fifteenth day, I think, since my surgery. I had surgery on July twenty ninth. And so, you know, time has been going fast. My babe left, but he calls me every day, every night, like he's been wonderful. You know, I have a great, great um, entourage. <laughs> I have a great crowd around me of people that are continuously checking on me, making sure I'm okay. Like, my cousin calls me to make sure I'm okay, asks me if I need anything. Like, everybody's just been really great during this time. Um, I do go back to work on Monday physically. Um, I have been working from home these last couple of days, uh, but I physically go back on Monday. And so I'm going to make sure I work for the Boys and Girls Clubs. And so um, probably like the first week, I'm going to just work in my office at headquarters and not go to the sites just because I want to, you know, make sure kids like to run up and hug you, especially if they ain't seen you in forever. And I just don't want, you know, it hurts me to my heart to keep being like, no, no, I can't hug you. No, you can't. <laughs> you know, I, already with uh, COVID, we're, we can't hug them anyway. But, you know, I just don't want a child that hasn't seen me in forever. And, you know, little kids, you got to keep reminding them of the rules. And so, you know, they just know that they're excited to see you. So I'm just going to stay away for like a week. Um, and I'll probably go to the sites when the kids aren't there. Before the kids get there, I'll probably go by and um, visit and check in, but leave once the kids get in the building. Um, just to kind of be on the cautious side. But... Uh, Besides that, my healing is going great. Um, I hope that I'm being helpful to you all. Um, those who have gotten a tummy tuck, those who are um, <clears throat> about to get a tummy tuck, those who are thinking about getting a tummy tuck, like I do not regret doing that. Um, I feel like it's the best thing that has happened. Like I told people, I lost 120 pounds. Um, doing the gastric sleeve, which that in itself was the best thing that ever happened. Just getting the gastric sleeve and losing those, those 120 pounds. It was amazing. <clears throat> but then it got to where this extra skin was kind of heavy and annoying. You know, uh, it wasn't because, oh, I want to look this way or I want to look that way. Yeah, I do want the body I work hard to have. But one of the main reasons was because the skin is heavy and I felt like I was moving slow. And, you know, I, I told my best friend, we were on the phone one day and he was laughing at me because I was like, I still move like I'm 300 pounds. <laughs> and so I was like, I knew it was the, the extra skin. And, you know, and I was like, I don't want to be skinny, you know, or smaller than I was and still act and look like I weigh more as far as, you know, how I move around, doing activities, 
things like that. Like I love sports. I want to be able to play sports. You know, I don't want to have to worry about, you know, the skin flapping and sweating in places and eventually getting rashes and, you know, tears and things like that where their skin was thin. So, um, I would, I would do it all over again. You know, it has not been rough. My doctor, um, Dr. McNeil and Marietta Plastic Surgery, they are amazing. Like everyone from when you check in at the front to when you go back and you see the nurses and the, the scheduling coordinator and everybody else is so amazing. Like they are all so very nice. Um, and genuine like it's not a oh I'm just being nice because I work here and I have to be like they are all genuinely nice and I love it um Dr. McNeil I recommend him to anyone he is amazing his bedside manner like his aftercare manner like everything he is an amazing doctor and he's talented you know, I've heard horror stories and I'm so glad and I thank God that, you know, I am not one of those people that is, you know, coming to y'all telling you, oh, my whole side is gone. I'm swollen. He left this in me and he it, it's just been amazing. So um, I do recommend check him out. Marietta Plastic Surgery has two offices, one in Marietta. Um, and one in Woodstock and both offices the same across the board. Um, I'm not, uh, like I, I couldn't lie to you. I went to the Woodstock office for the first time during this entire journey on Monday to get my drains taken out everybody like it was just the same type of atmosphere everyone was so nice and pleasant and i was like you know because sometimes you go to one office and you're at one location and everybody's great and you go to the next location and you kind of like mm, they need some of these people to come up here but no they were great across the board so um I've probably been ranting and raving for a little while if i have not addressed anything that you guys would like me to address please 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 feel free to ask questions in the comments like subscribe comment um you know click on the little bell so you can get notifications of when i upload a new video um i want to thank you all for tuning into my channel and um i want to thank you all for taking the time out because i know there's so many videos on this there's so many videos on other things but the fact that you chose me um to listen to and give you information i really appreciate it you guys have a great day and i look forward to bringing you more content and more videos